Hi, Brother Roy here, Old School Bible Baptist Ministries. Hey, today we're going to do a little whiteboard and we're going to talk about absolute 100% mathematical scientific proof that your King James Bible is inspired. Amen. Let's pray. Father, thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the blood that was shed. Thank you for our salvation by grace through faith. Amen. And thank you for your precious Holy Bible in Jesus name. Amen. And amen. So back in eternity past, before the foundation of the world, God had this book in mind. God had the King James Bible in his mind. So when you go over there in the Old Testament, he says, seek ye out the book of the Lord, the book. This is the book. Um, he promised in Psalms 12, six and seven, that the words of the Lord were pure words as silver tried in the furnace of earth, purified seven times. Remember that, that's gonna be important. Purified seven times. He said, thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. As, as the Lord began to give the scriptures to man, the Old Testament in Hebrew, the New Testament in Greek, he knew, he's omniscient, he's already in the future. When he began the work, this is what he had in mind as the finished product. That's why he gave the Old Testament in Hebrew because he was only dealing with the Jews at that time. And then he came over and he gave the New Testament in Greek because that was the universal language of that time. If he'd have meant for it all to be together in one book, he would have done it in Hebrew or he would have done it in Greek. But that's not what he did because it was never it was never supposed to stay in Hebrew. It was never supposed to stay in Greek. What God had in mind was bringing the Hebrew and the Greek together into one book, one 100% absolutely pure Bible. And that's because Back in the days of the Hebrew, back in the days of the Greek, there was no such thing as a printing press. Most of the world was illiterate, and had they even got a printed book in their hand, they couldn't read it. That is why God has always had in mind the finished product is the King James Bible, where he would take the Hebrew and the Greek, bring them together in one perfect Bible that has been printed and preached and read more than any other book on the face of the earth. And this book was taken in the hands of British and American missionaries across the globe and has spread the gospel message of Jesus Christ to the whole world by one book. Now today, I'm going to show you, because you know I ain't a math guy, <laughs> but I'm going to show you some stuff that I learned from a friend, and I'll give you all his information so you can go way deeper than I'm going to take you today. I'm just going to skim the surface, but it should blow your mind. Amen? I'm just going to go that deep, but at the end of the video, I'll tell you how to go a lot deeper. But let's look at some phenomenon that you'll find only in your King James Bible, which is absolute scientific mathematical proof of the fingerprints of God on this book. It's not in the Hebrew, it's not in the Greek, and it's not in any of the new modern Bible versions. You will only find in your King James Bible God's seal of approval. His seven, his number of perfection and completion throughout the scripture is seven. Even if you've never read the Bible before and you picked it up and began to read it, you'd pick up on what seven means in the Bible real quick. Okay? So 
So it's interesting. Uh, we come to the scripture and uh, we'll look at all these sevens. All right. So when we go, we start here. Uh, the New Testament right here begins. We'll come back here, right back here from Genesis to Revelation. All right. And isn't it crazy that the book of Matthew, the New Testament begins exactly 77% through the Bible. Amen? And check this out. When you add up all the genealogies, all the generations from Adam to Jesus, you'll find that Jesus is the 77th generation from Adam. And then as you begin to read in the book of Matthew, you'll find the 7th Word in the New Testament is Jesus. <laughs> Amen? <laughs> I mean, what are the chances? What are the chances? Okay, so now we take the name Jesus, and that, that can be used with a little apostrophe here in the possessive. In other, in other words, like this is Jesus' Bible, all right? So Jesus and Jesus's. And you're filtering out some other Jesuses that aren't this Jesus. Okay. But all the mentions of Jesus, all right, in your Bible are 980 times. Okay. Now, what is 980? 980 is 490 plus 490. What is 490? That's 7 times 70. 7 times 70. What did Jesus say in Matthew 18, 22? If, I, if my brother trespasses against me, how many sh times should I forgive him? That's 70 times 70. So that's very interesting that the, the name Jesus appears 490 plus 490. It appears 7 times 70 plus 7 times 70. And that's not all. When you go odd-numbered books, and even numbered books in your even numbered books it appears 490 times 70 times 70 in your odd numbered books it appears 400 times 490 times 7 times 70 and that in, that in itself would be a phenomenal coincidence right but check this out the odd numbers books have way more words than the even-numbered books. So it should appear way more in the odd-numbered books. The odd-numbered books have 117,753 words. The even-numbered books only have 62,629 words. You think that Jesus would appear more over here, but he doesn't. He appears perfectly... 7 times 70 in the even, and 70 times 70 in the odd. Look, that ain't your, in your Greek, that ain't in your Hebrew, that ain't in your fake Bibles, because they take the name of Jesus out of a bunch of places. This is only a phenomenon that you'll find in your King James Bible. Okay, I'll give you one more, one more, all right? Seventh word... From in, from the beginning of your Bible, is heaven. Seventh word from the end of your Bible is Jesus. Okay? So now you add up how many times you find the word heaven and the word Jesus in the whole Bible, and you're going to get a total of 1,554 times. What is 1,554 that's 777 plus 777. You add up the number of times that heaven and Jesus are in the same verse, and that's 49 times, and that's 7 times 7. Just a coincidence, I'm sure. No. This is the bread that the Lord thy God hath given thee. This is the book that he had in mind before the foundation of the world that he calls the Word of God. It's your King James Bible. It's one book, one final authority from a God 
who gave you one Lord, one faith, one baptism. He's a God of ones. And this is his word. Everything else is tried by this. And my friend, when you stand and I stand at the judgment seat of Christ, the book that will be opened and we will be judged, our service to him will be judged by what we did with the words of one book. This is the word of God. Now, God bless you. Uh, if you want to go deeper, I just scratched the surface. But this phenomenon goes on and on and on for hours, hours. What you need to go to is the YouTube channel, Truth is Christ. And that's Brother Brandon Peterson. He is a genius math brain guy that I just copied from. This guy is breaking new ground in the mathematical miracle that is the King James Bible. Go check him out, and I'll see you in the next video.